What's up guys? Chris Johnson here. Finally coming at you with the first unboxing on this channel. You know, so I figured we'd start with something that's near and dear to my heart, which of course is Vegeta. And uh, not only that, but Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, which of course GT gets a lot of hate, but uh, Super Saiyan 4 was definitely the redeeming factor of that whole series. And uh, regardless of whether they're going to work it in now in Super or not, I think that transformation was an awesome and logical progression from Super Saiyan 3 all the way to 4. Now, uh, I apologize it's taken so long to get to these. It's been something I've wanted to do for a while, so I've just been sharing posts of my current collection. And uh, you can flip back and check some of those out as well. So hopefully I'll be able to do this fairly regularly. Please do, please do excuse my, uh, my dirty work desk here. I do a lot of fine art, which I also post on this page, and, uh, and leather craft as well. So my workspace tends to end up uh, a bit crowded sometimes. So we're going to just roll with it and do the best we can. Hopefully you guys enjoy this review. This is the, uh, the fourth anniversary figure, Dokken Battle uh, for Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Uh, it's got a pretty awesome picture of Goku there as well for the other figure. Hopefully I can snag the rest of these as well. These all seem to be pretty nice and high quality. I've never bought uh, a Dokkan Battle figure before. Uh, it's fun from Ben Presto and Crane King is putting them out. So this is pretty awesome. I love the pose on this one too. So without staring at the box too long, let's go ahead and check it out. And hopefully the figure lives up to the, the cover art, right? Because the box art is always uh, what's going to sell it. So, for those of you that are probably already cringing, yes, I do open all my figures. I do keep the boxes. I do. I prefer to just... Well, hi, Goku. Check it out. How's it going? Um, special cameo here by my giant vinyl... Uh, Super Saiyan Goku that was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive uh, a few years back. Probably one of the most expensive figures I've ever owned and also one of the most unstable as he likes to fall over all the time. Um, so, I'm going to leave him there. He just wants to steal the, the show from Vegeta as usual. Alright, let's get into this. By the way, that... Uh, Goku figure I got from my good friend Javier at uh, KD Toys up in Sparks, Nevada. So if you're out there, you should definitely uh, go check him out. He's always got lots of cool comic stuff. Cool, we got some environment there. Handful of other bags here. Let's check this out. So this is obviously the stage. Some decent looking rock formation. Pretty flat though. Like there's no, no coloring to this, you know, no definition to the rocks or anything. If I ever get around to having time to do some custom paints on these, this would probably be one of the ones I would touch up. The other kind of bummer is it looks like the, the Dokkan Battle piece just sits next to it. It just, you know. It doesn't attach anywhere, it's just like a nameplate that goes in front. Which I'd much prefer if it connected somewhere and it was one piece, but uh, be that as it may, that's what we got. All right. This head sculpt here, it's looking pretty good so far. Feet. I also always really enjoyed his uh, costume, or lack thereof, in, in GT, where it's just jeans and boots, you know? Much more casual than a full-on Saiyan armor. Alright, let's get those out of the way. Get his tail on there. For those of you that haven't bought a piece with something like this where it's got the tail, uh, they can be a little tricky 
there's like a little puzzle piece shape and you just match it up and it uh, pops in there. Some are better than others. Uh, the really loose ones tend to fall out a lot, which is unfortunate. Uh, the torso is actually a pretty nice fit, which I like because I hate picking up a figure and having it fall apart in my hands. So, all in all, check this out. All in all, the sculpt looks pretty good. Clean figures, or features I should say. The hair's got a couple inconsistencies you can see in here from whatever mold they pulled them out of. So it's not completely smooth. But the paint job is pretty good. I don't see any overspray or any of those immediate issues that you see from cheaper paint jobs. And he was pretty reasonable, I think. I think he was about 30 bucks on Amazon, which is pretty nice. I, As much as I love seeing all the crazy resins and everything people collect, um, they're just giant and they're like thousands of dollars. <laughs> and I would rather, at least for now, build my collection with uh, smaller pieces and have more pieces to show for it. Not to mention my wife probably appreciates... Uh, me not wanting to spend thousands of dollars on uh, essentially a toy, right? All right, now, some of these are good, some of these are not. Like, it already doesn't want to pop in very easily for his feet. So, sometimes they require a fair bit of force just to get in the, the feet in there. And this one so far is pretty bad. Um, that's actually kind of disappointing. I'll pop his tail off for a second. Maybe I'll do the whole thing. That way I don't bust them into pieces. Trying to get them on there. There we go. Yeah, that's quite a bit of force, honestly, guys. Like, that's that's a little crazy. Now, the good news is, since he's on there so good, he probably won't have any trouble staying there, which is nice. Um, since some of the figures do have a tendency to fall over uh, or not be well balanced on their own, hence the stand. So this is kind of nice to have one that's on there good, but that was quite a bit of force just to get him on there. All right, get his torso back on there. And there you have it. So the idea, of course, being that this just sets up in front of him like that. And uh, just hangs out. But... Honestly, that's a pretty good sculpt. I like it. He's got the uh, the typical Vegeta smirk, which is awesome because, you know, again, it's Vegeta. So, it suits him to be smirking. And honestly, the, the pose is pretty good. Some of the poses are pretty pretty stale. So, I like that one a lot. But again... A little more definition would have been nice. Like you can see they bothered to paint in some definition into the muscles and there's a little bit into the, into the jeans and boots, but the rocks are just completely flat, just one coat of gray. So I would have liked to see a little more uh, color in there just to give it some definition and look more like rock and not uh, plastic. All right, guys, so I'm going to pop him into the collection and uh, find a good spot for him somewhere. But I'd probably recommend this one. This one's a, a pretty nice one, especially if you're a fan of Super Saiyan 4 and obviously a fan of Vegeta. I think this one would be a good piece for your collection. Um, I've got a couple others that I like more, but at least for now, I'd say this one, if you can find him, he's a good find for... 30, 40 bucks, you know, and uh, it's a good piece there for your collection to uh, represent Super Saiyan 4. It matches the box art pretty well, all in all. I would say they're they're pretty similar. The box art obviously is a little cleaner. His hair is a little lighter, honestly, in the, uh, the box art. So, whatever happened there, but uh, that's all good since Vegeta's hair color has changed a little bit over the series anyway. All right, so awesome, guys. So that's our first little review. Um, again, 
fourth anniversary figure, Dokkan Battle, Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta. And uh, coming up, I've got a couple more sitting here ready to go, which is uh, this guy here. We've got Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta. And this is a Bandai Ben Presto figure also. This is part of a set that looks like it comes with that uh, has Vegeta in it as well. Uh, the Solitary Warrior, which fairly accurate for both those guys. But I like that uh, that Piccolo as well. I'm going to have to probably pick that one up. It's hard to find good Piccolos as well. But Vegeta definitely is the, the character I have the most of in my collection. So Piccolo is uh, pretty underrepresented right now. And then uh, my wife for Father's Day got me this awesome little Super Saiyan Vegeta Final Blast series, which looks like it's got a couple of... Uh, options there for effects which is pretty cool some pretty cool box art and it looks like there's a handful of figures that uh that join in this series so i might have to check out the rest of those too so i'll be doing videos for those soon as well and uh some other reviews of the figures that i already have unboxed and uh if i can dig out the boxes out of storage because who's got the room for all that um i will definitely show you the box art as well on those Awesome, guys. Thanks for checking in. Uh, be sure to keep up with everything I'm posting. I'm posting all my original art that I'm making uh, that's DBZ related and also posting my collection. So follow, check it out, uh, Capsule Corp Collection on Instagram. And it's an underscore between each one. So Capsule underscore Corp underscore Collection. And uh, hopefully I'll catch you guys again soon. All right. Later.